Hi, my name is James Saab. I'm the Vice President of uh, Automation and Process Optimization and in uh, the Digital Science Innovation in Research and Early Development at Nova Norris, based in Denmark. Today, I'm going to tell you about our automation for closed loop processes, as some people call it self driving labs, and how we've used Scylla to help us in this journey. Nova Nordisk is a 100, 100 plus uh, year old drug company based, based in Denmark. Uh, we're about 60,000 employees and we're particularly well known for supplying 50% of the world's insulin. There's a lot of activities going on in our, in our company and uh, we, we use automation across, across the value chain. Um, my department based in Denmark, just outside Copenhagen, is called Automation and Process Optimization. Here we uh, customize ro robotics, we help uh, integration of existing lab equipment, particularly in sourcing, um, working out what's the right thing to get to uh, solve a problem. We uh, automate to digitalize, that's why we're doing it. It's not just labor saving, it's to create really great quality data sets. We train people and help people implement uh, different things like liquid handlers and we design and produce completely new accessories if, or devices if, if they don't exist. In particular, we love uh, to uh, apply this kind of work to um, uh, generate AI and ML data sets and see how we can apply this uh, to, to different experiments that are going on across the company. When we do this, we, when we're building our own, we often uh, you know, look at the different variety of equipment out there. We often use cobots, uh, in particular, we like uh, local brands like the UR, uh, but sometimes we use industrial arms and different components you can actually buy off the shelf and put together like the Cavro range or different products from Festo. And then really uh, a lot of what we use is, is using Scylla as our integration tool. And uh, we, we're a big fan of this, particularly the open source nature of it. You can see some of the drivers that we've been, uh, or servers we've been uh, uh, writing, and, and we open source them because we really think this is a good way to get some standardizations across the community and drive things forward. And an example I'll give you of how we use this is in process modeling and parameter optimization. So say you've got some input parameters and some outputs parameters requirements. There's a black box relating them. You don't know what the function is, but you, you think there is a function. So how do you determine it and, and optimize it for a particular uh, rationale? We like to use Bayesian optimization. Here's a schematic of what this might look like. So this is a fictitious gold mine with gold at different uh, levels of, the, um, of the, the ground. And you're going to make some test rules and take some, uh, gather some data. And with this, you get to refine your model. And from each uh, point, you decide where's the next drilling uh, sample to be made. And you try and maximize the amount of information you get on each in each cycle. So that's why Daisy is really, really useful. Um, and then we apply this in, in the lab. So how do we do this? We have algorithms for the process improvement. We, we have robotic uh, automation to carry out the experiment. And we use uh, uh, maths wrapped in Scylla to actually uh, do a lot of the thinking in it. And our target is to generate um, autonomous robots, self-driving robots for different bio processes, in particular ones working on biologic drugs, which is our focus, to optimize different things. Here's some examples of this. So we've got uh, different liquid handlers and images here. We tie them together with, with Scylla, and then we cycle around, do an experiment, learn from it, and decide on the next experiment, and just repeat, repeat, repeat. And this just chucks away over a weekend or a week, nobody touching it, and we can learn more and more. And here on the other side here, these, these bouncy lines, I'll tell you about what that is at the end. Here's an actual example where we had to optimize an assay, a LOSI assay, uh, also known as uh, um, uh, alpha -lizer. You've got different components and you want to work out where the best, uh, best, best most optimum uh, you know, uh, combination is, say, sensitivity. Um, and you can see here all these different little orange points of different uh, uh, trials that the scene, uh, machine has made. And then it's learned from each cycle. And you get these uh, plots here in red with the blue line through showing you, you know, the error uh, estimation and, and the optima in the dotted line. And the bigger red lines is the optima of each of these combinations. This is really nice and because this is days or if not weeks of normal human time that is now carried out by the robot. We've been applying this to a lot of different tasks in protein engineering, uh, generation of methods for HPLC, separation, chemical reactions. There's a lot that you can do. If you can get a good scoring function, you might be able to apply this. And we, we're doing this across the company. 
So this little plot round here is 96 different experiments bouncing around where we took 10 different parameters for working out the best conditions for an enzyme. This is a fun, fun experiment, so it's not a real thing. We can actually see what, what increases the enzyme activity or decreases the enzyme activity and just run through it. DOE is a different approach, but we can also optimize that, put that into a black box where we can do a coarse grain DOE followed by fine grain. And Scylla is really a backbone to all this communication and making this all work. So with that, I'll thank you very much and hope you have a great rest of your day.